Hey, what's up you guys? It's Savannah and today we are doing a walkthrough tour of my Sunlit Plateau. This is one of my favorite biomes in Disney Dreamlight Valley, okay? I'll just say it. Every time I decorate this biome, I feel really excited about it. And this time I went in a totally different direction. Well, I guess I kind of stuck with a jungle theme, which is how I had this biome set up before, but I leaned more into the village, small town vibe here. This is the biome where I've placed all of my cottages and they're decorated together in a really cute village. So I'm excited to show you guys this. Here we are at the start of the Sunlit Plateau. This is just off the incline right next to the plaza. And I have this set up in a very natural kind of way. First, I'll show you my elephant graveyard which I completely redid. It was set up as an area for Scar, but I totally redid it. I moved Scar as well as Simba and Nala to Eternity Isle, and I'll be making a nice jungle area for them there. But here I wanted to have more of a tropical feel than I had previously. And here I've moved a bunch of monkeys using the companion house. I have the oasis in the center and a nice little area for them to walk around. I've also placed all of my gooseberry bushes as well as my banana trees throughout this area. So that is the elephant graveyard. Let me show you some more of Sunlit Plateau. I think first I will go past my cottage here and start making our way towards the river. But next to the Vitalis Mines entrance, I have a little cooking station as well as a little campsite kind of eating area. And then let's make our way across the bridge. This is where I started decorating this entire biome. All of the decorating for this biome was done on stream alongside my viewers. So I will link those streams in the description bar if you wanna follow along and try to create something similar. When we first cross the bridge, I have Belle's little bookstore here and I have it decorated with a bunch of crates, barrels, and of course, lots of piles of books. Just next to that, we have the wishing well right on the river edge. And then we make our way into more of the village. Now I do play on Switch, so please excuse the pop in as things load in. Next to the Swan Lake, I of course had to place the Snuggly Duckling Tavern. I have a full speed build of me decorating the entire inside of this house. So if you wanna check that out, I will have that linked on a card for you. It only seemed natural to have Gaston living next to the Snuggly Duckling Tavern. I feel like he would be a regular customer there. So of course his house had to go there. I really love this part of the pathing that leads up to Mickey's house. I felt like Mickey Mouse deserved a nice little walk up to his house. And in front of this little pond, there's a cute little picnic area. We have a bike left behind. I also have my purple cottage and Goofy's house here as well. I love this little area here where all the cottages are like nestled right next to each other. In front of Goofy's house, I of course have his stall. And then in front of Gaston's house, I have his archery set up and of course, dozens and dozens of eggs. So he will be well fed and hopefully stay on my good side. So that is the little village area over here. I love this sitting area in front of the cottages with the enchanted bench as well as the Beauty and the Beast fountain, which I think looks so, so good with this ancient road pathing. So let's make our way across the bridge to the other side of Sunlit. And here I have a bunch of my cocoa bean trees leading up to the back of the summery cottage, which I have set up as a cute little farm area. I have some ancient gardeners growing some canola and onions, as I frequently need those for cooking recipes. We have the entrance to the back of the house. Oh my gosh, we caught Gaston painting. Oh my gosh, he's working on his masterpiece. You guys need to comment below. Let me know what Gaston is painting. My guess is maybe some eggs. Maybe some protein powder? I don't know, what is Gaston painting? He's definitely doing me a favor and helping to show off this little painting area which I have set up next to my cottage. And this doubles as a crafting station but also looks super cute next to this little house. Okay, we'll leave Gaston to his work. Let me circle around Wally's garden here and I will show you this little area with my summer cottage. So you can actually 
link right through Wally's garden if you wanted to. And then we are met with Nala's waterfall. We've got the summer cottage here in the back, of course, with the little swinging chair. And then I wanted to make a really cute little lookout here. Now my meadow is not decorated yet, but eventually one day we'll have a really cute little lookout moment here and have a really gorgeous view of the meadow. So down there is a work in progress, but yeah, here is how Sunlit is looking so far. We've got a little hot tub. We've got a little sitting area, a little romantic picnic, if you will. Nice place to enjoy a little cheese platter. And yeah, this is how my Sunlit Plateau is looking. I'm really loving the cottage kind of feel. This biome definitely had me using a lot of items. I mean, just look at all the greenery and stuff. So, so now I'm in the process of trying to finish up the rest of my valley while having very few items left to be able to place in my valley. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.